Hello and welcome to a buzz and a flutter.co.uk. Now, feeling inspired by having seen all those bees and all the other pollinators on the ivy that we've got outside, or heterohelix as it's known, I wanted to show you how to do, in effect, two different types of ways of propagating ivy. Now technically it's a bit late on in the year, we're getting towards sort of the end of October. Ideally really these should be being done I would say around about September. But we've just seen how good they are and I thought now is a better time than never to show you how to do them. Now the first one I want to show you is what we call a leaf cutting. Now what I've done is I've gone outside and I've taken a length of ivy or hedera and if you look just there, I've cut it just below a leaf node. The reason why we cut it below a leaf node is so that um, the chemicals that are in there are the strongest point for producing roots. So in theory, this should have the best chance of producing roots. That said, on the parent plant, I've then cut back to just above that bit and remove this section here of stem so that it will then grow out because there's a little what they call leaf node in there this tiny little bud and from there it will grow out that way equally if you were to cut it on this side there that leaf node there would instruct the plant to grow out that way so we've got a length of cutting leaf cuttings for header up really couldn't be any simpler you've got the bottom leaf node look for the next one up Cut just above, watching for the bud. Nice clean cut. Grab some soil. I'm just using ordinary garden soil. We dug out our pond recently. Normally you would use a potting mix, but actually this is ivy, so it'll be absolutely fine. Remembering what way you cut it, because obviously this end will produce the roots. You can tell because the stems are growing up and the leaf buds are pointing upwards. Pull this part off and literally, simply insert that up to the leaf node there so that it's level with the soil and leave it. Normally when it comes to cuttings I would use something like a tray where I would just fill it with soil when I would put the cuttings in or I would use bigger 9 centimeter pots but ivy is very easy to root. Um, it's late on in the year. They're not going to put on masses of root growth now. Really, the thing to do is just keep them out of the wet weather. Obviously, the plant itself, the mother plant, is going to be very, very hardy. You wouldn't need to worry about stuff like that. But obviously, these are cuttings. They're going to be losing moisture. So I just need to give them the best care possible. Now, when it comes to the rest of them, I'm not actually going to be doing leaf cuttings. That's just one example of something you can do. But if you look here, having been outside, they're a bit tangled at the moment. I'll just move that bit there. Now these are sometimes known as self-layered or self-rooted cuttings. So all I've done here is literally removed it in the same way I did with the parent plant earlier and you can see these long roots now each section of this say one two three they're all individual plants and these really couldn't be simpler I mean the root growth is already there they already want to grow so all I'm going to do with these is remove one there go above that leaf node Try not to cut that bit there. Two. Again, above a leaf node. Another one there. That's two. And then with this section here, I'm just going to remove that little bit there and that top growth there. And we have, if I just trim that up, you don't need all of those roots. And actually that root system's quite woody. It's the fibrous roots that you really want at this stage. So we'll just pop those in there. Pop the secateurs down. I don't want to cut myself. Grab some compost. And just quickly fill three pots. A 
again this one here has got quite a lot of root growth normally they say that the leaf should be proportionate to the root this won't do it any harm in fact it will actually help improve it because what will happen is all these little fibrous um, branches of roots will now grow out so it'll end up with a better root system as a result this simply make a hole with your finger pop that in there feel the soil up around it and that tiny little thing looks quite pathetic at the moment I must admit will be the basis come next year I hope for a very good plant and we'll just do this one here again we can remove this bit and we'll take that off now obviously um, ivies are evergreen so we do want some leaf there the leaf is obviously where the nutrients are it's where the moisture is so it's good to have some if these were really big leaves I don't know say for example that one there then what you could do having taken your cut in would simply be that bit's damaged so actually that bit wouldn't last long and that wouldn't be good hygiene you would cut across and leave a small section on there or if we took another one which is a better example you'll just cut across the idea being that that leaf will survive and it will hold just enough moisture but if you left the leaf on as big as that then there's a chance it could lose moisture quicker and it can gain it obviously at this point in time it's a race um, to get the roots down and formed so we'll take the last one again use your finger as a dibber and pop that in there and if you notice I just leave that top of the stem showing again the idea being that the um, the leaf node or the bud is in there and it will probably sprout from there and um, we should have a new plant so there we are, that's how you would do a layered or pre-rooted cutting and this example here was of a roof cutting. I better go because I've got quite a few to do and I hope to sell some next year plus having seen how amazing they were for the bees I'd really like to get this tray full and of course my garden. So remember, together we're better, let's create a buzz. Bye bye.